um, a few extra thousand dollars. So I think altogether it was like like one oh three, like close to one oh three uh hundred uh hundred and three thousand dollars based like with my peer space with my Airbnb and me doing like my um my uh my like my own like my from from separate from my business basically like you know written it out privately that's what i mean written it out privately yeah so i made my six figures everything was cool life it was very what it was very much life changing i never seen that much money before i never even thought i could make that much money before like just something that came out my mind is just crazy so Hello, hello, you guys. My name is Siren Red. I'm the Creditpreneur, and every week I come to you with business tips and tricks on how to create or how to maintain your credit business. So this week, we're going to be talking about what I learned after making six figures from my art. Three things that I learned after making six figures from my art. So let me tell you a little bit of a backstory for you guys who are new here. So my name, again, is Siren Red. I am a creative director based in Philadelphia, in Delaware, but primarily in Philadelphia. So I started off um, doing music videos and um, music videos, boudoir, uh, photo shoots, stuff like that, commercials, things like that. After a while, I've seen I seen that my uh, my clients, like my clients, have money they to pay me and stuff like that, and pay my team, but they didn't really have the money to always get like these big extravagant like sets set designs that I want. And then you can also, we can, of course we can get a pair space, but sometimes pair space didn't always have what I needed, or it was like outside of the budget to travel to what I needed. So I was trying to bring, I tried, I would figure it out a way. I put my thinking cap on baby. And I thought of a way to bring my clients more, um, more range, more, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? More, uh, it's not choice per se, but like a word that I kind of remember that just, just more options. So to give them more options and stuff like that, I decided I wanted to invest in Airbnb and create themed Airbnbs, but the, it wasn't really actually that it was themed. It was just sets that I, that came out of my mind that I wanted to build. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the screen here, um, that I want, wanted to, uh, that came out of my mind to build. So that way people, could have a place to do their uh they can have a, a fun place to stay people can have a place to come create their art and then also i can have my own place to come create my own art so with all that being said or whatever i started doing the theme airbnbs my first one named the philly high house went viral on twitter um making me six figures in the first year so i i actually made 80s i think i uh, the exact amount was like 83 86 000 only on on um Airbnb, eighty six thousand, my first year on Airbnb, but I also made like um, a few extra thousand dollars. So I think altogether it was like like one oh three, like close to one oh three, uh, hundred uh, hundred and three thousand dollars, based like with my peer space, with my Airbnb, and me doing like my um my uh my like my own like my from from, from separate from my business basically, like you know written it out privately. That's what I mean, written it out privately. Yeah, so I made my six figures. Everything was cool. Life, it was very what it was very much life changing. I never seen that much money before. I never even thought I could make that much money before. Like just something that came out my mind is just crazy to me. So I never really thought I could make that much money, but I did. And ever since then I just, you know, I just been addicted to it. So um well not addicted to, you know, just the money, but just like the concept of having a creative business and stuff like that. And it was hard. It is hard, but it's not hard to the point where I don't think anyone else can do it. So at this point I'm just teaching other people, other creatives how to make money off their uh creative passions whether it is uh something like six figures like a building like mine or just like you know how they would go about putting their their uh art on etsy or or uh any type of other website that they can that i could generate them any type of income because maybe you don't want to make six figures or can't make six figures but maybe you can make an extra couple hundred or maybe you can make an extra couple thousand so you can take more vacations do different things for your family you never know you get what i'm saying but with that being said, that's where I'm at today. And that's what I'm moving into. I'm moving into, uh, you know, just giving back, teaching and stuff like that. I want to see what you guys create. So um, with now that you guys know my little backstory or whatever, um, today's video is going to be about basically what I learned after making six figures. So I've learned so much. I've learned so much. <laughs> I've learned so much good and bad, y'all. I cannot tell you how much I've learned 
but I've learned so much and I'm still learning so much every single day. I'm like, I feel like I'm like learning so much and stuff like that on my journey. But there are three main lessons that I learned that are the most important right now. And then again, in the future, I'll probably remake this video once I learn more. But as of today, these are the three main things that I've learned after making six figures from my art. The first thing that I learned, and this is going to sound so crazy because I know people, people cannot really get, people can't really fathom, um, People can't really fathom money not being everything um, because I feel like, especially in today's climate, like we're always all so worried about when we're going to get, when we're going to get that, when we're going to get money, how we're going to eat, the next place we're going to eat. Like we're also like worried all the time about our, our, our financial well-being. That is super hard for me to get on here and say like money isn't everything um, and for people to understand like exactly what I'll would mean by that because i feel like a lot of people believe that money would solve all if not all if not most of their problems which i do understand why someone would feel that way i do understand why somebody would feel that way and i do understand um i do understand why people would think that money would solve all their issues so i'm not necessarily saying that you don't, we don't need money, but I'm saying that money isn't everything. To go into a little depth about what I mean by that is all money is not good money. All money is not good money. That's one of the number more things I've learned. Cause some businesses and some partnerships I got into was just, was just about money. And the ones that I got into that was just about money was never the ones that worked out well for me. Never have any, never has anything that I've done that's just been specifically for money with no passion behind it has worked out. Not at all. Not at all. So it's like, to me, it's like, I'm not telling you that you don't need money. Cause of course we need money because we need money to survive. You get what I'm saying? But what I'm telling you is you don't need all, you don't need all the money you can get and you don't need money from just any and everything. So pick a thing that you want to make money from and just keep pouring into that instead of trying to get money from every single different place. Cause that's where I felt at. I felt at okay. I was I was trying to get money specifically from my art, specifically from creativity. That's where I want my money to come from. But then I started doing other shit that had nothing to do with me trying to get money from my creativity and stuff like that. It just I just started like going off the wind because I'm seeing other people making money like this. Other people making money doing credit repair. Other people making money doing this. Other people making money making doing that. Money other other people making money renting cars. Other people making. I don't care about none of that stuff. I don't like. Like that stuff. I don't want to do that stuff. So it's like I'm stretching myself thin, trying to see, trying to see where I can get money and how I can get money and where all these different avenues of getting money. A shit that I don't really care about, and I'm not really getting money from anything because I can't take my time and pour into what I, I pour into what interests me, which is my creative direction and which is you know creating art and helping others create art. You get what I'm saying? So with all of that being said, with all of that being said, it started to like really take a toll on me. And I started to like kind of like be unhealthy and and, and kind of neglect myself because I started to I started to make money the the top priority of my life instead of my life the top priority of my life. If that makes sense. So yeah the first thing I learned is that money isn't everything. So, um, the second thing, and I actually, um, even though I was speaking about money that actually goes into it as well. The second thing that I learned is make time for yourself as a creative entrepreneur. You need to make time for yourself because I'm telling you earlier this year, earlier this year, you could not get a, my friends and family could not get a hold of me. I'm talking about missing birthday parties, missing, like, um, just going out with my friends to the bar. Like I felt like at a certain point, I felt like as an entrepreneur, as a creative entrepreneur, I don't deserve nothing unless I hit my numbers. If I'm not hitting my numbers, there's no reason for me to be outside. If I'm not making money, it's no reason for me to be outside. If I'm not, you know, if I'm not on my shit, if the content not done, there's no reason for me to be outside. Yes, be disciplined. But at the same time, like you have to have balance. You can't, you cannot just, you can't outwork your life. I'm gonna say that. You can't outwork your life. You can't keep saying, oh, I'm gonna work now, work now, and live later, and live later. You don't know when it's going to be a later you don't know you could i could i could put in all this work all this work and tomorrow i could be minding my business driving to the mall and a truck could hit me and now i put in all this work and stuff like that and i and i missed out on a lot of opportunities in my personal life because i'm working so fucking much i'm working so i'm working 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 so much trying to get to myself to that next level that you know get to my next level the whole time i'm comfortable anyway because the difference between being comfortable and not having shit and then and then 
a difference between being somewhat comfortable where you could work at your own pace but still choosing to overwork yourself anyway which is what i was doing so with that being said, the the um the second thing I learned is to make time for yourself because you never know when that time when your time is going to be up. So and when your time is up, you can't get that back. And a certain opportunities, a certain opportunities and experiences that I will never be able to have again or that I missed out on because I was working. So just make sure that you um pour into yourself. Okay. So the third um the third um thing that i've learned after making six figures in my business is there is no there there is always a spin-off way to make money so it's crazy because the way that i'm like going and i know you guys are like what girl you talk about you talk, you see it like money is everything then you say it make time yourself now you say this module is always a spin-off way to make money hear me out 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 i didn't say all the things was going to collide together i said the most important things that i've learned lessons that i learned so there is always a spin-off way to make money so what i mean by that is pivot you gotta learn how to pivot so even okay so let's let's use my creative direction business as an example right i when my when my creative direction business is slow and when it's slow what i do is i teach people how to crave the i have a creative direct ebook and stuff like that so what i do is i make reels and make content and stuff teaching people how to do shoots teaching people how i do my shoots and stuff like that and i can make money from my ebooks so when people are not actually buying the shoots because it's slow season my slow season is, is like winter it's like no my slow season is really um like summertime like summertime early summertime like summertime um late spring that's when my slow season is because everybody outside my to see me it's five it's five fifty that's starting to see me i got i need five i need her five hundred fifty dollars nothing i can't go below that regardless right but and it goes up from there so some people don't in the summertime people tend to travel a lot more and they want to be outside and doing a lot more stuff so they don't have the the money to always spend my biggest my biggest peak season are seasons like uh december and february february is always my best month because everybody want a valentine's day shoot and stuff like that so things like that you get what i'm saying so those are my peak season and then also it's around tax time so january february all those good all those all, like around the winter months with colder months people not really traveling as much that is my that's when i make the most money right the sun go down so it's like my light is what about to do is finish this video but um yeah so like i was saying uh so with that being said um don't my best seasons are around the more winter months because when people are spending their money on things that they don't need they don't want to be outside so they're not spending on vacation and stuff like that you get what i'm saying i know that because i watch my clients my, go right on vacation as soon as like summer over they go hey god baby i need a shoe i need a shoe i need a shoe you get what i'm saying so it's like i know my seasons but during that slow season i, I do other things so that's when i focus more on my creative my, my creative airbnbs because it's a lot of traveling that around those times so i make sure i focus more on that because that's what's bringing me in the most money or i make sure i focus more on one-on-ones and teaching and stuff like that because that's what makes me the most money because that's the peak season around those times well digital products and stuff is year-round but like when it comes to airbnb and stuff like that the warmer months it does a lot it does a lot better because that's the time when people are traveling you get what i'm saying but you see how I kind of um, I spun my business into three different aspects. So I'm in the hospitality and travel. I'm in the photo shoot and video production and digital product stuff. So I just fluctuate between those three things. But all three of those things have everything to do with each other. If that makes sense, you get what I'm saying. So if that makes sense, um, everything to do with each other. So that is how I. Um, that's what I mean by there's always a spinoff way to make money. Do not rely on one thing to make money, but do not rely on multiple things that do not collide with each other to make money. That's what I'm. That that that's what that's um that's where that's that's where you might might be a little bit confused because earlier i was saying like i was trying to do all this stuff i didn't care about that's different than having something because my creative direction goes across the board when it comes to my creative airbnbs and my creative digital products and then my creative direction photo shoots itself is all wrapped up in one thing there's no reason for me to be doing toro it's no reason for me to be doing trucks it's no reason for me doing credit repair when none of that has anything to do with what i'm doing originally which is my creative direction uh and my um pictures and stuff like that you get what i'm saying so with that being said just it's, it's, there's always a spinoff way to make money do not get wrapped up in one thing not doing good for one season just focus on what is doing good that season until it's the season again for that next thing to do better if that makes sense but yeah so uh, again to go over my three things that i've learned after making six figures from my art money isn't everything 
um, make time for yourself. And there's always a spinoff way to make money. There's always multiple ways to make money off of one passion. But thank you guys so, for, so much for watching. I will see you guys next Wednesday. My name is Sarah Ray and I'm the Capreneur. Bye.